Uh, have you ever wondered how Germany, a titan of manufacturing, has found itself grappling with an economic crisis? It's a question that's been echoing in the halls of economists and policymakers alike. The answer, as it turns out, is a confluence of factors that have been slowly chipping away at the foundation of Germany's industrial might. Firstly, let's consider high energy costs. Germany's manufacturing sector, like any other, runs on energy. The nation's reliance on cheap fossil fuels has been a double-edged sword. While it fueled the growth of the sector for decades, the recent surge in energy costs has dealt a significant blow to the competitiveness of German manufacturing. The transition towards sustainable energy sources is not just a global trend, but a necessity, and Germany's struggle to keep up has left it grappling with escalating energy bills. Secondly, we have an aging workforce. The skilled workers that propelled Germany to its position as a manufacturing powerhouse are retiring and replacing them is no easy task. The younger generation is more inclined towards service sector jobs, creating a talent vacuum in the manufacturing industry. And then there's the competition from emerging economies. Countries like China have emerged as formidable competitors offering similar quality products at a fraction of the cost. The global manufacturing landscape is no longer dominated by a few players and Germany's once unchallenged supremacy is being threatened. These factors have coalesced to create a perfect storm, leading to the decline of Germany's manufacturing sector. It's a trend that's been in motion for a while now, but the current economic crisis has brought it to the forefront. As we can see, a multitude of factors have converged to challenge Germany's manufacturing dominance, setting the stage for an economic crisis. But crises also present opportunities. The question is, will Germany seize this moment to reinvent its economic landscape? Or will it cling to the past in hopes of a resurgence? Only time will tell. For now, all we can do is watch, learn, and perhaps prepare for a similar situation in our own economies. A critical player in this economic puzzle is energy, but how has Germany's reliance on cheap fossil fuels become a vulnerability? Germany, an industrial powerhouse, has long depended on affordable fossil fuels to power its manufacturing sector. This dependency, while historically advantageous, has become a chink in the armour of Germany's economy. As the world experiences a relentless surge in energy costs, Germany's manufacturing sector, heavily reliant on these fuels, has found itself on the receiving end of escalating energy bills. This predicament is not merely a result of fluctuating market prices, it's also a consequence of the global transition towards sustainable energy sources. As economies worldwide embrace renewable energy and move away from fossil fuels, Germany's energy-intensive manufacturing sector faces an increasingly uphill battle. The cost of energy is not just a line item on a balance sheet. It fundamentally impacts the competitiveness of products on the global market. As energy costs rise, so too does the price of German goods, and this puts Germany's manufacturing sector at a disadvantage. But the energy dilemma doesn't stop at manufacturing. The entire German economy feels the squeeze of high energy costs. From transportation to household heating, the effects ripple through every sector, straining budgets and stifling growth. Furthermore, this is not just a German issue. The global shift towards sustainable energy sources has far-reaching implications for all economies heavily reliant on fossil fuels. However, Germany, with its robust manufacturing sector, feels the effects more acutely, and the world watches closely as Germany's economic trajectory could set a precedent for other manufacturing powerhouses navigating the transition to sustainable energy. In the face of these challenges, Germany has made strides towards a greener future. It has invested heavily in renewable energy and has taken steps to reduce its carbon footprint. But the journey towards sustainability is a long one, and the transition cannot happen overnight. With escalating energy bills and a global shift towards sustainability, Germany's economic crisis is not merely a domestic issue, but a global one. The energy dilemma presents a complex challenge, one that requires innovative solutions and strategic foresight. As Germany grapples with this issue, the world watches and waits knowing that the path Germany chooses could influence the global energy landscape for decades to come. Amidst the crisis, some see a potential silver lining, a shift towards a service-based economy. But what does this mean for Germany? Well, the service sector, often celebrated for its productivity and resilience, could offer a lifeline for the German economy. 
This sector isn't as heavily reliant on energy as, uh, as manufacturing and thus isn't as vulnerable to the fluctuations in energy costs that have been hampering the manufacturing sector. Moreover, service industries, particularly those in the digital realm, have shown an impressive capacity for growth and innovation. This pivot could open up new avenues of economic activity, enabling Germany to maintain its high standard of living while also diversifying its economy. In addition, a service-based economy could offer more stability in the face of global economic uncertainties. The service sector is less exposed to international competition and more focused on domestic demand, providing a buffer against external shocks. Moreover, services like healthcare, education and information technology are less likely to be outsourced, potentially providing more secure employment for the German workforce. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. While the potential benefits are indeed enticing, this transition won't be a walk in the park. The shift from manufacturing to services would require a significant transformation of Germany's economic structure. It would necessitate a change in the skills demanded by the labor market, which could lead to job displacement and wage stagnation in the short term. Moreover, the service sector requires a different infrastructure compared to manufacturing, demanding substantial investments in digital technology and education. Furthermore, the transition to a service-based economy could also exacerbate social inequalities. While the service sector offers high-paying jobs in areas like finance and technology, it also includes low-wage jobs in areas such as retail and hospitality. Therefore, without careful management, this shift could widen the income gap in Germany. So here we are. Could this shift towards services be the key to navigating Germany's economic crisis? Or could it introduce new challenges and risks? As we delve further into this unfolding narrative, the answers to these questions will undoubtedly shape the future of the German economy and its role in the global economic landscape. A transition to a service-based economy sounds promising, but it's not without its risks. So, what are the potential pitfalls? Firstly, let's consider the human element. Shifting from a manufacturing-based economy to a service-based one could lead to significant job losses, particularly in the short term. Manufacturing jobs, especially those that require a high degree of technical skill, may not translate directly into the service sector. This could lead to an unsettling period of wage stagnation and even unemployment for many workers. This shift could also exacerbate social inequalities. Those with the resources and education to adapt quickly to a service-based economy may thrive. While others could be left behind, this could lead to a widening gap between the haves and the have-nots, posing a serious challenge to social cohesion. Moreover, a shift to a service-based economy could diminish the bargaining power of labor unions. Traditionally, manufacturing sectors have strong unions that play a crucial role in negotiating wages, working conditions, and benefits for workers. In contrast, the service sector particularly in areas such as retail and hospitality, is often characterized by lower unionization rates and weaker labor protections. Secondly, transitioning to a service-based economy requires a different skill set and infrastructure. While Germany boasts a highly skilled manufacturing workforce, these skills may not directly translate to the service sector. Thus, significant investment in education and training would be required to equip workers with the skills needed for service sector jobs. Additionally, the infrastructure required for a service-based economy differs greatly from that of a manufacturing economy. Investments would need to be made in areas such as digital infrastructure, urban planning and transportation networks to support the growth of the service sector. As we can see, the transition towards services is fraught with complexities demanding careful consideration and strategic planning. A successful transition will require not just economic adjustments, but also social and political ones. It's a daunting task, but with thoughtful planning and execution, it's a challenge that Germany can overcome. Germany stands at a crucial economic crossroads. The choices made now will shape its future, so what lies ahead? Germany's economic future hinges on the choices it makes today, caught between the urge to revitalize its manufacturing prowess and the allure of a service-based economy. Each path carries its own set of promises and perils, and the decision will undoubtedly echo across the global economic stage. The first potential trajectory involves a resurgence of the manufacturing sector. This path requires a concerted effort to mitigate the challenges currently plaguing the industry. High energy costs, an aging workforce, 
and stiff competition from emerging economies are all hurdles that need to be overcome. However, if successful, a manufacturing revival could reassert Germany's position in the global economy while preserving jobs and stabilizing wages. Alternatively, Germany could embrace a shift towards a service-based economy. This transition holds the promise of enhanced productivity and resilience in the face of global economic uncertainties. It could open new avenues for growth and innovation, setting the stage for a prosperous future. But this path is not without its challenges. It requires a significant investment in infrastructure and skills development and could potentially lead to job losses and wage stagnation. The implications of these decisions reach far beyond Germany's borders. The path that Germany chooses could set a precedent for other economies facing similar dilemmas. It could influence global economic trends and policies, shaping the future of international trade and cooperation. In the face of these crossroads, strategic foresight and decisive action are the need of the hour. The choices made today will not only determine the trajectory of the German economy, but also have a ripple effect on the global economic landscape. As Germany navigates this economic crossroads, the world watches with bated breath. The decisions made in the coming years will not only shape Germany's future, but also reverberate across the global economic landscape.